Oh, is that what you're doing? I'm looking for your family, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. See, that's not entirely true. One could argue it's my family you're looking for, right? You let us out of Atlanta with no thought for yourself. Do you remember that night? She ate the remains. <laughs> and I'm sitting in your car thinking, we're going to be all right. He's going to make it all right. We'll get out of here. It started. It was just it was a couple weird stories on the news. And it was so quick. Everything. It just happened. Oh, man, please. Please, can you help me? Two weeks later, I'm in the hospital, and there were soldiers shooting people in the halls. They were shooting people, and not walkers. The walkers came through. You know, I tried to get you out. Listen to me. If you're going to wake up, I need you to do it now. Okay, now. I tried. We weren't going to make it. There was no way. I knew it. But I couldn't live with it. I didn't keep Lori and Carl alive, man. They kept me alive. How'd y'all get out of there anyway? New guy. You got us out. You stay away from me. You stay away from my son. You don't look at him. You don't talk to him. From now on, my family is off limits. To you. If there's any government left in any structure at all, they protect the CDC at all costs, wouldn't they? Fort I think Benning, man. If that place is operational, we'd be heavily armed. We'd be safe there. Look, the CDC thing. Lori, it's a mistake. Uh, if it was your family, you'd feel differently. What'd you say to me? I kept them safe, man. But I was the time that you raised your gun on Rick. You had him in your sights, and you held him there. You're putting every single one of us at risk. Just know that, Rick. My husband is back. He is alive. I'll beat you to death, Ed. I'm thinking if you'd have stayed here, if you'd have looked after your own, instead you went off, you took half our manpower with you. I'm thinking maybe our losses wouldn't have been so bad. 30 minutes to decontamination. We are! We are! Come on! We're moving on. Atlanta's done. We're gonna try for Fort Benning. We're facing a long, hard journey. Maybe even harder than I can imagine. You got the hard part. You just leave the rest of me, okay? All right. You gotta take these bats, and you're gonna go. I ain't leaving you behind. How many bats you got left? Four. You. Five. One in the pipe. I'm sorry. Boy, would be dead if I hadn't put my ass on the line. I told us. This world, there is now. I know what kind of man you are. You think I should break? Enough! Risking our lives for a little girl who's gone! Enough! Living next to a boss full of things that are trying to kill us! Enough! Rick, it ain't like it was before! Now if y'all wanna live, if you wanna survive, you gotta fight for it! I'm about to fight for it! They're gonna give this kid a care package. They're gonna send him on his way. And you're right, this is gonna bring on a war or something worse. You know, you too damn emotional. Jack, no. You need to shut it down. Take all that guilt. Take all that fear that being pissed off. Take it out. Right, because you're so calm. See, I can be pissed off. I can be whistling Dixon. I always hit the target. It ain't hard, man. The right choice is the one that keeps us alive. Oh. It's the first moment. It's whenever you're put to the test. It's my car, man. I'm a better father than you, Rick. I'm better for Lauren than you, man. I'm a better man than you, man, because I can be and I'll fight for it. It's time for you to come back. I made a mess of things. It put you and Rick at odds. I don't even know whose baby this is. Whatever happened between us, whatever the hell we thought it was, and not just you, but this is real. You still have the balls to call this what it is. Murder. You won't be able to live with this. What you know about what I can live with? You got no idea what I can live with, what I'll live with. We talk about what I can do, Rick. 
How about what you can do? Here I am. Come on, man, raise your gun. No. No, I will not. I didn't want it, you know that. But you took it, right? Boy, that shit you did in that field. And just you and me. Man, you took a page out of my book, Rick. Yeah, I'm glad you did it. You stepped up, brother. It had to be 